In this video, we're going to take a team of research AI agents, the research leader, the project planner, a team of research assistants, and an editor to take a topic and automatically produce a well-researched auto-citationed article that provides a comprehensive view on that topic. Let's go ahead and do a demo. I'm going to start my test flow. I'm going to ask for the research to be done on effective parenting methods. I'm going to choose a professional tone. I'm going to choose a thousand words. That's the length of the report I want and six sections to that report. So I'll submit that. So what will happen is the research leader will take this topic and it's going to use this perplexity tool. So this perplexity tool uh, provides us uh, with the internet uh, search abilities as well as citations. So it's going to execute this flow here. And then it's going to now uh, produce a table of contents. So this table of contents uh, will serve as the structure. And then the project planner will take that table of contents and it will then map that back into, again, more research on the perplexity tool. And then after it uh, does this, it's going to then now delegate to my team of research assistants. So we'll let this uh, continue. And now I have a team of research assistants. So this team will take uh, each of the topics that the project planner has created and will research each of these individually, again, using the perplexity tool. So now it's processing this. I'll pause as uh, this will take uh, a couple of minutes. So it's now completed all the research assistance work and we've aggregated everything together into one text. And the editor is going to take that text and it's going to process that into uh, one final article. And then we're going to create the title and then post. This will take a minute, so I'll pause. We'll create the title and then uh, post to Ghost. So this is the final result. It's a well-structured article. And when you look at how it's structured here, the research leader, uh, they're responsible for planning and doing the initial research that provides this table of contents. So this table of contents is a structure that is provided by that AI agent, the research leader. And then the project planner is the one that's breaking down all these different uh, sections. So each of these sections has been broken down by the uh, project planner. And each of the research assistants, they are delving into and building just one part of this article. And then the editor, uh, they're responsible for piecing this together. But one of the huge uh, advantages of uh, using complexity and this citation is that these these articles here are real articles. And if you look at all these um, descriptions here, all, all the research, it cites exactly where it got this particular information. So this gives you a, a lot of credibility, a lot of uh, confidence that uh, the, um, the AI is not hallucinating, right? And then at the end, uh, there is also a sources as well that uh, gives the full list of the citations used. So let's uh, do a node by node walkthrough of how this is built. So the first is a form trigger. So this is what uh, specifies the parameters of the research. So I have the form title uh, as a topic researcher, and then uh, what the topic is that we are interested in researching, followed by the tone of the written report, as well as then the number of words that we want to produce. So this gives us uh, all the parameters uh, that we can, we can customize the report. Next, we start with the uh, research leader. So let's go into here. So the research leader uh, the, uh, is uh, the AI agent that takes on this persona. And it's quite detailed in terms of the steps that we wanted to take. We wanted to analyze the topic thoroughly and ask it to conduct web research. So this is where the perplexity uh, web search and web research uh, will come in. It'll automatically call this tool. And then we'll give it some structure in terms of uh, what information to, to gather and then uh, what to create a comprehensive table of contents, right? So the table of contents is actually the structure that then uh, gets um, delegated to the different research assistants by the project planner, right? So then we give it some examples of uh, a project or a proposed table of contents, and then uh, we uh, provide more details. Now, what's important here is that we're using in here um, the GPT-4 mini model. So this is a, a very cost-effective model and 
for this uh, node, uh, it's enough power for that to do a good job. Now, the next uh, node we're going to talk about is the project planner. So it takes the table of contents that uh, we got from the research leader, and it's going to uh, break down uh, that table of contents. So there's some detailed instructions on here on what it's doing, but it's essentially it's taking the table of contents and then uh, creating a prompt for each of the uh, research assistants to uh, start the research, right? So this is effectively uh, a, a delegation of work. Now the next node, this looks like a simple node, but it is actually, you can think of this as a for loop. So there's actually, it spawns off multiple items. You see here, six items. So this uh, goes to like six, six different research assistants, even though it looks like one, but there's actually six here. So now let's go into the research assistants. So in the research assistant, uh, it's actually very simple, right? It, it, it's just like write a chapter uh, for this article as as the uh, as instruction. But let's look at the persona. So the persona is you're a dedicated research assistant, uh, AI assistant, uh, right? Working as part of a research team under the guidance of the research leader and the project planner. And their task is to write a chapter in this overall uh, topic. So it goes through. Uh, all the detailed instructions, uh, including what tool to use, right? And for this particular research assistant, we're using, again, the uh, GPT-4 uh, Mini. Again, it's a, a good model that uh, it is actually good enough for this uh, case. It it's, uh, doesn't need to be uh, that strong in terms of logic, so we're going to use a relatively inexpensive model. So after we go through here, it merges uh, all six uh, research uh, uh, outputs into one, and then we do some processing here. Now, the editor is an extremely interesting node. So let's go ahead and open this up. So the editor, uh, it's an expert editor uh, specializing in refining and polishing content, right? And then it goes through a lot of details. Now, what's key here is uh, the instructions for the citation. This is um, uh, quite, quite useful and quite important. So what we're telling it is how to deal with citations across all the uh, different uh, research assistant outputs, right? So there's a lot of information here on how to create uh, a uh, sources section at the very end of the article for, for each of this entry. How do we do that? How do we make it SEO optimized? Uh, what the output format should be and, and the like. So there's a lot of uh, details in the prompt. And, and, and as such, what we're doing here is using a stronger model, right? So this is the GPT-4.0. So this uh, four zero is uh, stronger than many, uh, but uh, more expensive, right? So we're using this uh, uh, selectively on uh, only the, the nodes that, that, that need it. And then uh, of course we create the title, right? Very simple, we take uh, the output and then create a title from that and then we publish to Ghost. Now we've got this flow here. Now let's look at the, this tool, the perplexity tool. So this perplexity tool is from uh, perplexity.ai. So perplexity.ai uh, provides a uh, online model uh, that uh, I'm accessing it actually through Open Router. So Open Router uh, just makes it easy to access all kinds of models. So I, uh, I'm just accessing Perplexity through that, and uh, I'm I'm using the uh, online model, which is uh, the, the one that has the the internet search abilities and then citation abilities. And what I'm doing here is uh, after I call the Perplexity, I take the output of uh, the internet search. And then there's also a citations field. So this is very important. So the citations I get back from perplexity and the citations field uh, is what's what I use then to uh, input back into uh, my, the different uh, agents that use it. So what this will do is in the case of the research leader, it'll have uh, citations in here and research assistants also will have citations. And if you look at uh, the detailed information for the research assistant, there's a whole uh, set of uh, uh, prompt engineering here uh, that talks about how to deal with citations, how we want to format that. So there's a lot of detail in here that uh, uses the citation. But uh, overall, uh, this is a, a very powerful workflow and it's it's not too complex, just breaking down uh, the work, uh, but very, very effective.